He said, he gives me 300 pictures to put in the book and I've got 2,500 in my file. <laughs> They have become iconic. They were born of a French nation, uh, and the French are passionate about art and design and cars. That design, that shape, it's a beautiful shaped car. They were a beautiful colour. They were metallic blue. They were lightweight, very fast, and they held the road probably better than anything else. Tremendous cars. This book will appeal to every motorsport, and it will because it's an Alpine, because it's that name Alpine, that is a magical name. And the story of how Jean Redelais developed the car from the beginning of the 1960s right the way through to its World Championship victory in 1973 is worth telling. So we've got, with the Berlinette book, a complete story right from the word go, from early days where his father was involved with Renault, where his grandfather was even involved with Renault. And Renault play a major part right the way through the story um, because they uh, provide not only um, help and sustenance as a, as a friendly uh, fairy godmother, as it were, for a number of years in the 1960s, but eventually became uh, quite a formidable predator in the early part of the 1970s. Um, as the founder, Jean Redelais, started to have a few problems financially and they then eventually took over the company. Um, and it was at that time that they were able to put the money in, um, which allowed them to win the World Championship. So for me, and for the 7,000 odd people that have owned, uh, or, or actually bought one of these cars, there's a reason for choosing this, this car and this book. And if you've ever driven one, or ever been in one, they are fantastic. It's a car which is made of uh, polyester fiberglass, but it's a body shell built along a central steel beam chassis. And the central beam chassis is the key to it. You've got a one-piece tube going down the middle with mechanical bits at each end to hold the engine and the steering and the fuel tanks and all the rest of it. And the people sit in the middle. Now immediately you can think, well, what does that weigh? 45 kilograms. That's all that chassis weighed. And all the body weighed was about the same. The key features of this book are you've got a lot of, um, let's see, uh, original stuff, uh, words from the, the men of the time, of course, uh, those that are still alive. Um, there's a huge um, rally record in the book because most of it's rallying. Uh, this is all about the, the, the road cars and the rally cars. The book has taken six years to put together and then three years of really concentrated uh, research, development, probably a year of writing. What I like to try to do is to write something that's not been done before. Nothing's been done before in English in the way of a book dedicated to this particular section of the market. And it's just taken off. Renault and Caterham have got together and there is a new company that's been formed, it was formed on January the 1st this year, called, uh, let me get this right, so Societe uh, Automobiles Alpine Caterham, and the name Alpine now, anyway, is pretty, uh, pretty much on the top of people's tongues. Historic rallying has taken off in the last 10 years, and virtually every major historic rally will have an Alpine in it. Monte Carlo rally had about six this year. Over here in the UK there are about 70 of the A110 Berlinettes, and there's probably five works cars over here. So with the, the design, the colour, the passion of the French, the very lightweight body, incredible power from the engine, and that coupled together just makes the car, which is almost uh, the ultimate, really. And in its day, it was. Yeah. Early 70s, they were hard to beat.